Hi everyone, what's up? Joshua here from Alternative Brew. And today we're gonna to be grinding and brewing in the two-in-one Melita EPOS automatic pour over system. And essentially, if you've watched this video right here on the Melita ePour, then the EPOS is an ePour with a built-in grinder designed to be grinding straight into a filter basket, fresh on demand for the best flavor results in the cup. And it's nice to see that the grinder is not without its own customizable features like the brewing mode is. And we'll take a look at all of that again shortly. The grinder though, it has the ability to adjust the dose, the grind fineness, and then the strength of the coffee that's brewed. So you can tailor it to your liking, which I'm a huge fan of. Now, speaking of fans, if you're a fan of this channel and this video right here, then go ahead and smash that like button. And along with subscribing, hit that bell notification. And in doing so, you won't miss any of the videos that we release each week. So with that out of the way, let's brew some coffee. No, sorry, let's grind and brew some coffee on the Melita EPOS. So getting those all important specs out of the way first, the EPOS uses 38 millimeter steel conical burrs in the grinder that are not too different from the setup you would see in a Baratza Encore grinder. The hopper is removable and it can hold a maximum of 150 grams. Now a small detail otherwise missed is it even has an inbuilt hopper gate so you can remove that hopper that's full of beans without making a mess. And the water tank has a full capacity of one litre. Helpful and accurate markings on the side of the tank go up in 250 mil increments. And yes, it will brew a single cup of coffee of around 200 to 250 mils without issue. So to begin brewing, once you have that paper filter within the brew basket, and Melita have their own size four filters that are fantastic, but you could get away with using a Mocha Master filter too, place the filter basket under the grinder. And it's from here that you do have a few choices to make. That first one is, are you gonna be brewing a two, four, six, or an eight cup brew? And this corresponds to the water that you have added into the water tank. And by choosing the correct quantity, you'll be selecting a brew ratio as default of around 18 grams of coffee to one liter of water. Now this is generally a little bit on the weaker side for brewed coffee for my personal liking. So there are two further adjustments that can be made that will help with increasing the strength of that final brew. And the first one to go with is the cup strength selection. And you choose this from the next panel over. Moving from one to three essentially lengthens the time that the grinder operates. So you end up with more coffee ground in the basket and then a higher brew ratio. Now using two as your strength, you'll get an ideal ratio of one to 16.5. And if you have that strength marker on three, then you get a ratio of one to 15. And if neither of those up dosing options get you anywhere in terms of the strength that you're after, then you can go ahead and adjust the grind size finer here. Now there are two marked out steps on the grinder, but it actually performs as a stepless grinder. So you can adjust this anywhere along the full range to tweak that grind to your preferences. And then once you're done, go ahead and tap that grind button and it begins grinding. So once the grinder stops and you have ground coffee within the filter basket, pick it up and give it a little bit of a shake to settle those grounds and then place it under the brew head. And from here, we get to choose whether we want pre-infusion with our brew or not. Now I always choose pre-infusion as it does help get a better brew. And then once you're done, lightly tap that brew button to get you started. Now the rotating brew head of the Melita EPOS does a great job at first getting all the grounds fully saturated and then ensuring that there is a steady flow and it's maintained throughout the full brew cycle. And this is of around five mils a second. Then depending on which way the shower head is rotating, there'll either be a single stream of water straight into the middle of the filter basket and then slowly filling your brew up or a double stream flowing to the outer edges of the filter basket and both ensure an evenness to the extraction and avoids any grounds climbing up the side of the filter basket. Just like the Melita ePore, if you do prefer to have more control over your brewing and the rotation of that brew head, you simply need to hold the strength button down during the brewing process, and this activates the manual extraction mode. Then from here, each time you press that button again, you will change the direction of the brew head. So left to finish pouring through, the EPOS will turn that boiler off automatically. And it will brew a full one liter batch in under five minutes, as well as a single cup of coffee in around two minutes, which is about the same as if you were making your own V60 pour over manually. 
The filter basket has an auto stop drip feature built into it, so you can remove that glass carafe at any time without it pouring onto the hot plate. But if left there, then the EPOS will keep your brew hot for up to 40 minutes. But this hot plate can also simply be turned off too by turning the machine off. And the coffee that it brews is always nice and hot and ready to drink straight away. You can drink it straight black or you add your favourite milk. And there's little in the way of cleanup each time you brew with the Melita EPOS. You simply need to remove this filter basket and then dump out the grinds, rinse this basket out and perhaps the water tank too, but that's pretty much it. And I would want to descale the unit every 6 to 12 months to ensure it does continue to work for years to come. Now the pros to the Melita EPOS would be its rotating brew head and that inbuilt grinder. With the workflow being streamlined, it makes it super easy and quick to begin brewing a batch of coffee in the morning. And this is another great example of a coffee machine that can be used within an office scenario. As a one litre capacity, it isn't a huge amount of coffee, but it is likely to be a fresh pot every time you want to go to drink some. And then if you do have to brew a batch of coffee, then it is only a maximum of five to seven minutes turnaround time, including the grinding. Now, the cons to the Melita EPOS, I would say if it wasn't for this video, then the exact operation of the grinding unit using the strength button along with the volume and the grind size, well, it is a little bit obscure out of the box and it might otherwise be easily missed how much control you actually do have. And speaking of control, where it's not so much a con, I guess, as it is a personal preference, the convenience of having an inbuilt grinder. Performing the task of measuring out my beans and then grinding them. Now me personally, I'm a stickler for that brew recipe. So I wanna know there's exactly 60 grams of beans in the basket and I've hand ground them myself to perfection. But this is a great grinder and it will produce consistent results. I've spent a little bit of time tweaking it to my preferred tastes, but after that, I haven't had any need to doubt the EPOS's performance. And it's probably just that little barista inside me feeling a little less needed. But we have good coffee and that's why we're all here. And that's the Melita EPOS automatic coffee brewer for you. So if you have any further questions on this product, throw them in the comments section down below and we'll get straight back to you. Thanks for watching to the end of this video and we'll see you in the next one.